Also tonight, a life-saving operation is the first of its kind in upstate New York, and the recipient just happens to be a former Buffalo Saber. Jackie has more on this remarkable surgery. Jackie, it is remarkable, Diana. We're talking here about former Saber and former Amherst Hall of Famer Gates Orlando. He's only 49, but he has a rare form of heart failure, and since last week, he's been living with an implanted artificial heart. All the pumping chambers of the heart are removed, and then this would uh, fit uh, in its space. Dr. Todd Massey had done research on artificial hearts and waited for a surgery milestone like this. It's one of those uh, pinnacles of your uh, careers. On April 4th, he and a team of surgeons replaced Gates Orlando's diseased heart with a totally artificial one in just over three hours. It's a first for a strong hospital and upstate New York. I can tell you in comparison uh, to a lot of the other systems I utilize is that the flows uh, with this system are unbelievable. The open chest, it sounds like a herd of uh, galloping horses. The former Sabres and Amherst player had a career that kept him on the ice. Last year, the Hall of Famer was diagnosed with heart disease. He's actually doing very well. Um, he is up in a chair sitting. He's been taking some steps, uh, considering that this surgery just occurred last week. The artificial heart can last for about three years. Orlando is on a heart donor list now, but surgeons say he has to be ready for a transplant. They want him to recover first. This is being studied worldwide, and uh, there's been great success with it as a bridge of transplant. And possibly in the future, it may also become a, a therapy, what we call destination therapy, is a therapy in and of itself as an end. Well, right now, those surgeons say this is only good for patients in severe cases with end stage heart failure. But they say they have many of these artificial hearts available and they are ready to help others. And Diana, I think you heard him say there this artificial heart is called a bridge to transplant. It will improve his quality of life while he waits for that transplant. That's just incredible. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jackie.